What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanna to talk about how you can save money installing solar panels at your home. Now before we start, not every single one of these tips will apply to your specific situation. Some of us aren't physically capable of or just aren't comfortable with doing some of the work ourselves and I totally understand that. So whether you're gonna be doing the work yourself or hiring someone to do it, there are tips in here for you. Now the worst thing that you can do is go out and find a solar panel company, have them come in with a salesperson, buy everything they're telling you to buy, and have them do everything start to finish for you. They are going to take you to the bank, they're gonna make a lot of money off of you, you're not gonna know anything about your system, and you may not get a return on your investment, at least not within the first 18 to 20 years. So the first thing that I recommend is that you buy polycrystalline panels. Polycrystalline panels are cheaper to make than monocrystalline panels, and there are only minor differences between the two. The major caveat to that is if you have limited roof space, you might want to consider mono panels, which are slightly more efficient. But the increase in efficiency is very minor, so for most of us that have plenty of room, you're going to want to go poly. As you can see here, you're going to save possibly between 5 and 25 percent off of the price of mono panels depending upon the manufacturer and the deal that you get. The second tip is to buy smaller solar panels if you can. I'm going to recommend that you look at panels below about 145 or 150 watt. 250 watt to 300 watt solar panels are great but they're very large. As you can see here this picture is kind of grainy but they can be bigger than a man. They're about six feet to seven feet tall, some of them. So the problem is when it comes time to ship. Once you get to a certain size or a certain length, UPS and FedEx and most carriers will no longer ship it and you have to ship it freight, which is much, much more expensive, typically several hundred dollars for one single delivery. So by staying with smaller solar panels and just getting more of them, you're gonna save yourself a whole lot of money in shipping charges. Tip number three is buy pallets of solar panels at a time. If you can't follow tip number two and you have to get the bigger panels for inverter or charge controller reasons, then get whole pallets at a time. By doing this, you're gonna get a huge bulk discount. I've seen wholesale prices go down to as low as 33 cents per watt for some pallets. Typically when you're shipping freight, they're going to charge you for the pallet and not necessarily for how much stuff is stacked on the pallet. I'm sure there are exceptions to that, but when I've gotten freight shipping quotes in the past, that's been the case. Plus, if that means you're getting too many solar panels, you can always sell them on Craigslist or eBay or something like that and make some of your money back. Tip number four is kind of obvious, but use price or shopping tools to compare prices. There's a lot of good websites out there that you can see a whole bunch of different prices at once and compare and contrast, or there's tools where you can set yourself price alerts to notify you when a price goes down. That may seem pretty obvious, but if you just have a little bit of patience and take your time, I've seen some incredible deals come across when people buy too much or a company goes out of business and liquidates all their stock. You can really get some really good deals by doing that. This is an example of a website that compares prices for you and you can compare and contrast efficiencies and country of origin or whatever you want to do to make sure that you get the right deal. I'll put some links in the video description if you want to check some of those out. So on to tip number five, hire your own labor. Even if you have no construction experience and don't want to do any of the work yourself, as long as you shop for the components yourself and get great deals, you can also save a lot of money by hiring your own labor force. To install solar, you're going to need an electrician and you're going to need general laborers. Both of these can be very easily found on Craigslist by going to the gig section and posting your own gig and just put that you're looking for someone to come and install solar panels and racks and wiring that you already have, that you've already purchased, and you're just looking for quotes and bids. Make sure that when you're working with contractors like this that you check references and you make sure that they're insured and bonded. And last but not least is install your system out of season. Or in other words, don't install it in the spring or summer. The solar industry is very, very seasonal. So there's a lot of crews out there, a lot of construction crews that install these all spring and all summer, and then they taper out and they do nothing in the fall or winter. You might have seen unemployed workers outside of a hardware store before looking for odd jobs as people come into the store. That happens a lot with the construction industry when it slows down. 
Same thing happens with the solar installers, although you're probably not going to see them outside your Home Depot. So get the word out there on social media, on Facebook, on Craigslist, wherever you can that you're looking for a crew to install solar panels in the off season. You're probably going to get multiple bids and it's going to be about half what it would have cost you in the spring. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber.